Ready Ready Talk Boxing with Mr. A on Double R T Boxing with Mr. A. Well, this is a uh, Mr. A's thoughts episode. I'm talking about uh, I've been wanting to do this one for a while about the whole uh, Eddie Hearn Matchroom USA. I do believe I think everyone just made the big old fuss and uh, the big headline awareness about him getting Danny Jacobs. I, that, it's a big name for him, the first American sign-in. But what I'm thinking and what I'm I'm hoping for, and it could really uh, give a shot into the. Get a, get a shot into a American boxing. Ow, hit my head. <laughs> um, I'm thinking that uh, what I noticed that Eddie Hearn is very successful on in the UK. Not only is he he puts on deep cards. His cards have are loaded with fights. He gets fighters the he's excellent at building up fighters in a way that uh the the, the, the lower trinket belts to get them proper titles. And he gets those little belts known, you know? Like for instance, all the, the, the British wealth common the British belts, the BB, the Commonwealth belts, the European belts. He's very good at building up fighters by getting those smaller belts and then he'll take them to the world class level belts and I'm and out here in America if you don't have the one of the four sanctioned bodies WBA, BBA, WBA, BC, IBF or the BO you they don't give you no credit you know and but there's there's the NABC, NABA, NABO there's the the youth the NBA the youth division belt, and I think I'm hoping as well, but I think Eddie Hearn is gonna build up um, lower. If if he doesn't just get immediately big names signing with him, even if he even if he gets big names, like for instance, who's having a hard time getting like promotion right getting fights i'm just gonna use it as an example i know he can't sign with them but boo boo andrade you know you know what? even a better example but i i don't think so that, but boo boo andrade can't sign with them a better example would be sammy vasquez i don't know who he signed with or nothing but he just he's coming off that devastating knockout loss to luis Colazzo. so in order to build sammy vasquez back up as an example, this is, you know, I believe Eddie Hearn, you know, he'll, he'll take him on to like maybe an NABL route. And then from there, maybe get an intercontinental belt. And then maybe get the WBO continental belt, you know. And then from there, you, you, you get the shot at the WBC, WBO belt. He's really good at getting you fights, you know. Uh, getting you a belt, keeping you re- relative, but in a relative in the right way with those belts. You know, not only are you getting fights, not only are you staying relative, you're climbing the ranks at the same time. And and, and it seems like over here in America, those little belts, those climbing the ranks that way, is not is not a uh, pushed out. You know, especially by uh, all the I. I know definitely for not by the American YouTube channels. They don't. There's you could you watch probably the same ones I watch, you know. And no one talks about. I try. I try to do my best, you know, to to talk about all the little trinket belts because I I I like it. It's like I said. I'm I'm one, I'm one probably one of the only few channels who are very happy that the WBA has those two belts, you know. Like I said, those that the super belt is the champion. He fights the other champions while the regular belt, to me, cleans out the uh, top 10 and then earns himself uh, a, a title shot as a super champion. I like that. I think it's great. You know? And I... But there's not much push for any of the um, those, those smaller belts, like I said. 
the intercontinentals, the continentals. Over here in America, if you if you get that belt, oh, you're a trash. What kind of bum belt is that? But at the same time, that bum belt is getting Gary Corcoran a shot at Jeff Horn. Because I believe he has, a, what, the WBO Continental? He just won it against Larry Equidano. You know? Eddie Hearn put him in the line to get that belt. Climbed it up in the promotion. I think that's... I think he's Eddie Hearn. Oh, no, that's Frank Warren. That's a Frank Warren fighter. But still, you know? And over there in Britain, they kind of do it. They do it good. They, they, they get you those little trinket belts. You know, and... And I'm hoping, and not only does Eddie Hearn build up that way, he puts fighters in with fighters, you know, like shut up or get out, you know, it's, you're going to fight that guy, you know, he don't, he don't put you in an overmatched fight, but he doesn't have too many uh, lopsided fights, at least from what I've seen. I'm pretty sure there are some, every, every promoter has some lopsided fights. But from a lot of the um, matchroom cards I see, they're pretty, pretty competitive fights. You know, they're pretty well balanced competition. Uh, undefeated fighters take on undefeated fighters. One loss take on two losses. They're very good match, matchroom matchmaking. <laughs> so, and I think, and the fact that right now HBO is hurting for fighters, HBO is hurting bad. Because with, with, uh, with Bob Arum taking his whole stable to ESPN, that was a uh, oh that was Terrence Crawford, Loma, that was Terrence Crawford, uh, Lomachenko, that's Usnick. Uh, so it's a lot of fighters that we constantly think of as uh, HBO fighters. They're not there no more. They're all on ESPN. So it, technically, the only names right off the top of your head: Canelo, Golovkin. Who else is an HBO fighter? Not Lomachenko, not Crawford no more. Uh, not Horn. So it's it's not, like I said, those are the only two big names you could really think of. And, and it, that's why the other day, not the other day, but the, a few weeks ago, even though it was a great card, it was like this, all those flyweights, that's all HBO has. They have no, they have no, um, they have no uh, anything higher than one, 30. They don't have nothing higher than 130. So, with the deal signing Eddie Hearn, until he gets a good stable of of U.S. fighters to back him, they're gonna. You're gonna see a lot of I think uh, Eddie Hearn's maybe B B and C fighters. Now, not saying they're not good, but they're just not like a. I don't think you're gonna be seeing no. But you might now that where the career is, but I don't think you'll see like an Anthony Car uh, Carolla or a Ricky Burns or people like that name. You you won't see. A, I don't think you'll see a, a Liam Smith or a Liam Williams. You won't see that type of rematch over on HBO, not yet at least. Or that might be a headliner for an HBO card, the Williams rematch. But yeah, I think you guys get the gist of what I'm saying. Um, and with him signing a, uh, Danny Jacobs and the HBO deal, HBO, like I said, all they got is Canelo and Triple G. And they're like, what is the hottest? Because remember, they got to protect, their, those are the two main investments. And what other big fight out there for Triple G is there? You got a Canelo rematch, and then what else? What else can they get the most money out of this investment? Damn, people want to see that Danny Jacobs rematch. So at least they know they got two big money fights left in Triple G with 160. And then they went out and got uh, Dimitri's Andrade. Okay, so you got, you, and Andrade was talking about, hey, I want a David Lemieux fight. And there, that, oh yeah, they got, they got David Lemieux. He's an HBO guy. So at 160, they got, they got uh, Andrade, Lemieux, Golovkin, Canelo, and Jacobs. It kind of went kind of went to like an HBO but still it's it's a uh, Jacobs with Eddie Hearn that's how that kind of ties together so HBO is in real 
Um, they could stick a sign of relief that they got this Eddie Hearn deal because I think he's going to do really well by showing a lot of lower level lower level fighters and when I say that like I said once again I don't mean lower level skill fighters it just means a lot of a lot of prospects and like 17 and old guys 22 and 1 15 and 3 type guys you know not quite prospects but not try quite true contenders. Basically, you probably see these fights over in the UK, probably like winning a lot of Europe, going for a lot of European belts, going for the British Commonwealth belts, those type of um, level fighters. Like for instance, um, damn, what's the ghost's name? I can't think of his name right. Um, Ashani, Asnahi, whatever. A S I N A. I can't pronounce his name right now, but he just fought. That dude's really good. I won't be surprised if you see him on a HBO card. The Ghost. I like him a lot. He's that South, the switch hitter. Um, who else can I might see over here on the HBO card? Um, I don't know all matchroom fighters. Is Dubois a matchroom fighter? I'm not quite sure, but. That would be freaking awesome to see Dubois over here on a, a H, uh, on an American HBO card. You know, obviously Dubois and Joshua would never fight over here in the States. No effing way. But it would just be a good, uh, a good, good st uh, stage for Dubois, you know. Because Joshua is getting pretty decent over here. And then with the, America loves the knockout. We love the knockout over here. You know, sweet science ain't much appreciated over in America as it is over any, basically in any country. <laughs> America just is one of those, just like the baseball, give me a home run or nothing. Heavyweights, knockouts, that's what America loves. Sweet science, eh, you know. Um, what else? That's about it. That's, that, that's my quick little run. It's not a quick, it's a 12 minute video, probably about to be 13, but that's, I think. I think it could, it's gonna him signing H. I mean him them signing Matchroom is gonna to me really have Al Heyman and the whole Showtime and Lou Dubuella and all that. They're gonna really have to start cranking out some good fights. Not only the great fights, but like I said, Eddie Hearn is gonna give you like a seven card fight with a whole bunch of B and C uh, famous people because they're not quite there, but they're gonna be good fights, competitive fights. So I think Showtime, the PBC, all that stuff, they're going to have to really start cranking out some competitive fights soon. Like really good entertaining competitive fights, at least on the paper. What happens in the ring happens in the ring. But on paper, these they got to look competitive. That's my thought on the whole Eddie Hearn, HBO, Matchroom USA. Leave a comment down below what you think. And uh, once again, Mr. A, just want to say thank you for your time. Thank you for your support. If you have not, Please subscribe if you have. Thank you. Thumbs up the video. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Hey, that channel is pretty good.